welcome back to me cooking with Mimi. Today we're going to making to today we're going to be making our second dish. It's pretty simple, pretty easy for all of the beginners out there. It's a fruit salad. Like I said earlier, so simple. So f for a fruit salad, it is optional. If you want it to be exotic, then you can use exotic fruits. Simple, simple fruits, etc., etc. But for today's demonstration, we're going to be using little cubes of pineapple. Apples, grapes, and raspberries, and strawberries. Now my mom has already cut up some fruit, some, um, not fruit salad, some pineapple for us. So we're going to add that in first. Just put it all in this bowl here, or your own bowl if you want. And once you're all done with that, probably a good idea to wipe down the cutting board. Now we're going to move on to the apples. For the apples, you're going to need a core, a core, an apple core, or and or a peeler, depending if you want skin on your apples or not. If you're younger, you may want to do this with an adult supervision, but here's how you do it. You're going to put the core right on the little stem, and you're going to push down as hard as you can. So you hear a little clunk sound. And voila! You should have a solid hole through your apple. Now this is your option, but you can peel it first. I'm not going to peel it because to me it doesn't really matter. You can cut them however you want, but I'm going to do it in little strands. Little thin strands that are easy to just pick up and bite. Shoot fly. Again, just tiny little strands. Very easy to pick up and bite. So easy a baby could do it. Ugh. Okay. Now you can do this for however many apples you want. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and then you guys come back whenever you guys are ready. Now that you have finished your apple slices or your little apple cubes, however you did it, you're going to add them into the bowl, the same one in which you put the pineapple in. And if you do get hungry, save some for yourself. Save some apple slices for yourself. Okay, now that we have finished the apple and the pineapple, we're going to move on to grapes. And grapes are super simple because they're already on a stem and they're already like small bite sized. But if you do come across one that is really big, easily eat instead of having to chew one huge grape for five minutes. So now you're just going to add however many grapes you want into your fruit salad. And like I said, you could follow this tutorial or you could do it any way you want. Exotic, classic, this recipe. And I will give you some other ways you could spice it up that my mom and grandpa like at the end of this video. Okay, now that we have added all of our groups, we're going on we're going to move on to raspberries. 
Now, raspberries are just like grapes. I mean, like, they don't taste the same. But the way I'm about to show you, they'll kind of like it. So if you have an abnormally large raspberry, just like grapes, you're going to simply cut it or tear it in half so they're easy to eat. Put them in the bowl. You can even cut all of them if you want to, if you're just the kind of person who likes to see something and then swallow it whole. And you, my friend, are probably half snake. But everyone likes snakes, right? They're like super cool. Okay, now we're doing the raspberries. Looking really delicious here. And don't worry, we won't. We will mix it up at the end in case you are wondering how this is looking. Looking kind of weird. Okay, now we're going to move on to our strawberries. Obviously, when you eat a strawberry from the, from the stem, like this one, it will take you a couple of seconds to eat it unless it is abnormally huge and it may take you a minute or two. So, the way my mom taught me and the way my sister always cuts strawberries is to cut it in half, then put it back together, and then cut the halves into fourths. I like to add a little more onto that and cut the halves from the fourths into fourths. So they're like super tiny, almost like cubes. So the way you do that is just turn it on its side and then cut the halves into fourths. Super simple. But, if you are coming across a strawberry like this, where it does have the stems and leaves on. Now, scientifically, the leaves are edible, but it just doesn't feel good to actually have leaves in your mouth when you're expecting fruit. So, I want you to do the same thing. Watch your fingers. Again, you can add on to it if you want to. Make them smaller, more bite-sized. Push them to the side. Again, cut it. All nice and neat. Bite sized. Now we're going to cut two more strawberries. Now tell me in the comments below what your favorite fruit so far in the salad, or just your favorite fruit at all in general, is. Comment below. Put all of them into the fruit bowl. And then, voila! We are done with our fruit salad, so now all we have to do is mix it. We do have someone else in the kitchen, in the kitchen force them to wash this cutting board. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to start mixing. So when you're mixing, it's a good idea to use, like, wooden, well, I like to use wooden salad forks. Or spoons like these I like to mix and match um, like these so if you have a higher bowl you don't really need to worry about things spilling but I kind of do since this is a lower bowl just like that if something does fall on the floor that could risk getting you or anyone who eats a salad sick so don't put it back in the bowl just throw it away or if a dog beats you to it just let him eat it Unless you know, like, dogs can have grapes or raspberries. Not so sure about pineapple. So you're just going to mix it until you think it is all thorough. And no, um, I was about to say vegetables. No fruits are overruling everyone else. 
Once you're done with that, you can either be done and just X out of this video, or you can, hands are sticky, or you can spice it up a little bit. Now, I myself like to have Cool Whip with my fruit salad, but since we don't have that right now, I'm just going to skip it. So any type of whipped cream like Cool Whip, Ready Whip, any other whipped cream brand that you know, those would be amazing for the salad. Kind of like spice it up a little bit. But if you were choosing to end right here, I recommend taking the spoons out unless you're going to eat it right now. Put saran wrap over it and put it in the fridge so it's ready to eat soon if you're not going to eat it right now. Now, if you want to look up any other any other ways that you could spice up uh, your fruit salad or any combinations of fruit that you think were good um, if you do find any cool combinations or any like cool ways to spice it up let me know in the comments below I hope you I hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel I love you all so much and don't forget to keep cooking bye